and I think that's what's cool about the zero G flight too, is that you do, you really do get this, this experience, this feeling of what floating, flying in a more continuous sense is like. I mean, you really can if you allow yourself. And I would say the key, the key thing to really um, appreciating it the most and uh, feeling like if you, you would if you were on a space station is to chill, like to really just be mellow and to not, um, and it's hard not to do this at first because your body floats up and you're like, ah, you know, your legs and arms want to you know, flail around and you want to try to, you know, swim to get into the right position or you feel like it should take more, uh, you should have to exert yourself more to get yourself in a position. When it really is like a very great, graceful or should be to really appreciate and get the most out of it, it you should always be thinking about what's the least I need to do to get in this position. What's the most relaxed I can be while I'm experiencing this? What's the just touch my finger on the floor of the airplane and float up to the ceiling kind of thing I can do versus feeling like you have to push off and that you have to be, you know, kind of um, work in it. It really is a, in the best way, it's a graceful, um, very Zen thing if you let it be. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Like, uh, yeah, I think, well, Ari in our community has, has done a zero gravity flight before, and he was saying that it was almost like a reset of his entire body, that he felt as though he had gone back to some some state that he always knew existed, <laughs> but that, uh, yeah, it was like he, he was going back home somehow, you know, yeah. uh, which was so well, interesting that, to me. Yeah, I mean, that's a really cool way to think about it, because I think... You are. I mean, where we started out, we we're floating and <laughs> and it was probably pretty chill and, you know, comfy. And I think the same the same thing needs to happen here. I mean, to really, really get the most out of it. Uh, it's, it's I guess it's about thinking less about it and just kind of going with it. And um, yeah, you, it, the, when so I was with Nicole the first time I did my first zero G. And I was like a giddy idiot. I and I was just bouncing all over the place. And she actually has the video of my very first. I think it was probably the moon or the maybe the the Mars one. And it's so funny because I am just like a giggling kid. Now I will say it's taken me a few flights now to do what she's talking about, though. Although the last flight I did, I have to say people. Um, picked it up much better than I did, which is that you just start floating if you don't even try, like once you're in zero gravity. Yeah. And that's, you know, the thing about it is, I think it's it's another one of these kind of perspective things too, right? We get so used to the way we move. It's just, it's natural for us, right? It's all pretty much two dimensional. We're walking in a straight line. We're climbing upstairs. We're, you know, um, we're moving this way very purposefully, but very um, naturally. And now you're in a place where it becomes three-dimensional, right? And you have to, so this feeling of your body moving like that, it's just like, oh my gosh, it, it's so foreign at first. But I think like Ari was saying, if you just kind of <laughs> let it happen and, you know, versus trying to push up and fly fast and flip and roll and all of that, if you just let it happen and see what that does for you, how it elevates you, like, like literally will lift you off the ground without you having to do anything. Um, then it becomes, I think the adaptation is much quicker and much more graceful than, um, you know, trying to, trying to fight it or help it, um, uh, is, uh, I, I just can't wait to see how, you know, how everybody, um, responds to it again. And, uh, and there's joy. I mean, it's total joy in, in that whole experience. 